I swear by Almighty God that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. A frightened girl forced to choose between a new love and an old crime, between a man who could send her to prison and his price to set her free. He left you all his property, you know that, and nothing to his life. You stood to gain directly by this man's death. What was the strange truth hidden in the ominous shadows? Is he very alarming? Oh, no. He's really very kind to flowers. Why had he brought to his home the woman he sought to prosecute? My wife is an invalid. Why me? Why have you been looking for me? Who is the fool? The woman who would kill for love? The wife who would give her life for love? <coughs> <laughs> or the husband who would look elsewhere for love. She needs a doctor. And what would he say? He would say, shut her up, give her a little rest, give her a little treatment. Well, I'm not having her shut up. You know, I'm glad that you and Stephen found something to talk about after all. He went out, you know. You saw that, didn't you? Well, I hope you're not jealous. Because he's got a woman in the village. The well-meaning friend who knew too much. The innocent bystander who saw too much. I'm afraid. The unscrupulous schemer who talked too much. Well, you know what her real trouble is, don't you? She's kept very short of the affection she needs. How about you, Miss Gunn? Is that why you came down here for your evening walk? He's irresistible, isn't he? Until you get to know him. And then when you look deep into his eyes, you see that there's nothing there at all. Have you ever noticed listening. that? You're afraid, aren't you, Stephen? And nobody knows the truth about him. Nobody knows!